Welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. The topic which we are going to discuss is experimental approach in probability. The following topics which we are going to cover up in this GTEC video is all about probability, trial and the empirical probability. So these are the concepts which we are going to deal in this video of GTEC. Let's go with the introduction of what the probability is all about. If you see about this one, the term probability is generally defined as the likelihood or else we can tell it as a chance of something that occurs. Probability is widely used in the study of mathematics, statistics, gambling, physical sciences, biological science, weather forecasting, finance and in some other areas as well. Let's go with the keen definition of probability. So this is defined as the numerical methodology of measuring uncertainty involved in a particular situation. A trial is considered to be an action which results in one are several outcomes. Let's have an example of the probability. If we toss each of the coin and each throw of the die are called as trials. So this is the depiction of a die over here. Two coins are tossed. We got to find the probability that two heads are obtained. So here is the example of one such probability in terms of coins. So this is called as coins probability. Before we proceed with the solution part, we must have a notification in mind that each coin has two possible outcomes that is heads and tails. So the sample space is denoted by the letter capital S. So the sample space of the two coins which are tossed is nothing but H, T that is head, T, head, head or else tail, head and tail, tail. So there are only four possibilities when we toss two coins. But the question is that we got to find the probability that two heads are obtained. So in order to find this one, we have a denotion which is called as event. So in order to determine the two heads, we need to analyze and see the sample space. So out of this four, we have only one ratio of probability. So the occurrence is only once. So that is the event as per the question. So by substituting the formula classification in terms of coin toss probability, PE that is P is nothing but the indication of probability and E is indicating the event. Here the event is probability of getting two heads. So the formula is that one NE divided by NS. N is indicating the number of occurrence. So NE over here it's the event. We have only 1, so we have mentioned 1, divided by n of s, that is sample space. We have totally 1, 2, 3 and 4, so we need to mention 4. So the probability the two heads obtained is 1 divided by 4. Let's go with the other example. Suppose a coin is flipped three times. What is the probability of getting two tails and one head? So for this experimentation, we have a solution. Since the coin is flipped three times, the sample space consists of totally eight sample points. That is, tail, tail, tail or else tail, tail, head maybe tail head tail and it goes on like this 
So totally we'll be having the sample points for getting two tails and one head is eight. Since we know that each sample point is equally likely to occur, so the probability of getting any particular sample point is one by eight. As per the question, we got to find getting of two tails and one head. So by analyzing this one, we must see two tails. And one head. If you see, yes, two tail and one head. Again, two tail, one head. Over here, it's two tail and one head again. That's it. So we got three events. So we can mention as A, and we can define it. The probability of event A is the sum of probabilities of the sample points in A. Therefore, we can simply mention the three events as 1 divided by 8 plus 1 divided by 8 plus 1 divided by 8. Since we have the denominator portion as equal, we can simply add up the numerator part. That is 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 3 divided by 8 is the probability of getting two tails and one head. Now let's discuss about the empirical probability. As per the definition, it's consideration of an experiment which is defined as an action or process that results in well-defined outcomes. An event of an experimentation is said to be the collection of some outcomes of the particular experiment. Experimental we can say or else we can mention it as empirical probability. So if you see about the empirical probability, it's a kind of probability which is being estimated over the event that will happen based on how often the event occurs after performing an experiment in a large number of trials. So this is all about the empirical probability. The experimental or empirical probability which is denoted by P of E of an event E happening is given as P E equal to number of trials in which the event happened. So we can mention in a formula that is total number of trials P of E equal to F divided by N. If you see about this one, the probability of any event lies between 0 and 1. That is, it can be any fraction between 0 to 1 including 0 and 1 as well. Some of the probabilities of all the possible outcomes of a trial is said to be 1. Other than that, some of the probability of the occurrence of an event and the probability of the non-occurrence of the event is also 1. Let's see some examples. A die is rolled. We got to find the probability that an even number is obtained. So the solution is, let us first write the sample space which is denoted as capital S. A die which will be having 6 possibilities, right? So we can mention the sample space as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. As per the question, we got to find the probability that an even number is obtained. If you check out with the sample space, the even numbers over here are 2, 4 and 6. So as per the logic, E which is noted as the event has an even number 2, 4 and 3. Now by deploying the formula specification of classical probability, P of E equals to N E divided by N S. Here N E is nothing but the occurrence of event which is 3. So we can mention 3 and divided by ns. ns is nothing but a sample space. So the number of 
times of occurrence is 1 2 3 since it goes on from 6 so it's 6 on cancelling we'll be getting 1 divided by 2 so this is the probability that an even number is obtained when a die is rolled off let's proceed with another example the tickets numbered from 1 to 20 are mixed up and then a ticket is drawn at random. So we go to find the probability that the ticket drawn has a number which is a multiple of 3 of 5. So here we go with the solution. As per the question, the tickets numbered are from 1 to 20. So the sample space is starting from 1 to 20. We got to find the ticket that has been drawn with a multiple of 3 or 5. From 1 to 20, the multiples of 3 or 5 will be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 5, 10 and 20. So these are the multiples of 3 or 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 are the multiples of 3. In terms of 5, 15, 5, 10, 20 are considered to be the multiples of 5. So, uh, so by substituting the formula P of E equal to n e divided by n s so n e is the event of getting a multiple of 3 or 5 so if we have a count it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so totally there are 9 so we can mention 9 and the total occurrence is 20 so 9 divided by 20 is a probability that the ticket drawn has a number which is a multiple of 3 or 5. Let's go to the next question. The question is what is the probability of getting a sum 9 from through from two throws of a die? The solution is that in two throws of a die the sample space is for one die it will be 6 since the question is 2 so we can multiply 6 into 6 that is 36. So sample space of throwing 2 dry dice is 36. As per the question we got to find getting a sum of 9. So the event of getting a sum of 9 is that 3 comma 6 comma 4 comma 5 comma 5 comma 4 comma 3 comma 6. So 3 comma 6 if we sum up it will be 9 4 comma 5 if we sum that is 4 plus 5 equal to 9 5 comma 4 if we sum up it will be 9 6 comma 3 that is 6 plus 3 equals to 9 so these are the possibilities of getting a sum 9 as per the formula by substituting p of e equal to n e divided by n s here number of times of events divided by number of occurrence or times of sample space event it's 1 2 3 and 4 it's 4 the total number of sample space is 36 so n of e that is 4 divided by 36 if we cancel up we'll be getting 1 divided by 9 so 1 divided by 9 is the probability of getting a sum 9 from two throws of a dice Hope you got an idea of the probability and other logistics which we have dealt in terms of probability. Thank you for watching this from GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited.